morning. How are you guys doing? Okay. Uh, what's up, everybody? How are you guys doing? Kurang sihat ke tak sihat? We still have few days left uh, for our MCO. Pada yang tak kenal aku, my name is Azi. Uh, and then uh, my mission is to motivate more people to exercise. Uh, to give pitch to those that uh, want to start exercise. Yang mana-mana baru nak exercise. Macam aku dulu uh, ke laut. Alright. So, dalam video kali ni, uh, aku akan share how would we do a squats. A proper squats at home. Alright. So, currently semua... Gym pun tutup So kita punya option Is to exercise at home Alright So uh, What is squats? Okay squats Is actually a movement That uh, involve Your whole body actually But is More towards your legs Leg muscle Alright So uh, Apa leg muscle yang ada? So leg muscle kita ada few Yang major punya Kita ada hamstring Kita ada quads Kita ada glutes Alright So dalam video ni korang aku akan show aku akan tunjuk dekat korang macam mana nak buat squat dengan cara yang betul, selamat dan efektif. Alright, stay tuned. Okay, first thing first. It's our stand. Alright, macam mana kita nak uh, start squat ni? First kita punya stand. Okay, so uh, usually stand kita akan uh, between our shoulder width punya stand and then our toe a bit pointing out. Jangan keluar sangat. Alright, ni Dah lain dah exercise dia okay. <laughs> So we gotta do uh, a little bit Your toe a little bit pointing out Alright so You are making a V shape with your leg Alright So the second movement uh, Second uh, thing that you need to know Is to make sure Your spine is straight Alright Not arching back Alright Spine is straight So korang punya spine ni kena straight je Okay and then you Pull your chest up Alright pull, Push your chest up Okay so bila korang drop down So I want you to imagine that you are sitting on a chair, right? Imagine ada chair dekat sini. So korang akan turun macam korang nak duduk, okay? So yang part yang bergerak sekarang ni is your hip. So push your hip back, tolak korang punya buntut tu ke belakang, right? So drop your butt down, okay? So push your hip back and drop your butt down, right? So when you reach this level, just push it up back, okay? Make sure. Semua load yang korang turun tu Bila korang turun Korang akan rasa Load dekat kaki Alright So make sure Every load is on your heel Alright Not on your toe Okay So daripada depan Shoulder width Stand Making a V shape Alright Chest up Neutral spine Drop your butt down And up Okay So bila korang naik tu Korang squeeze Korang squeeze korang punya Quads Korang punya glutes Okay So ini uh, Basic Untuk buat squats Okay So I'm gonna do like For few reps So you can Get a better picture of it Alright So Turun Making a V shape From the front ah, Making a V shape Okay So push your feet back Chest up Drop your butt down And push up one Right Push the floor up okay, Two Three Okay From the side You will see my butt is going down instead of my knee going forward. Okay, so korang turun. Korang punya buntut ke bawah. Push up. Right, making sure every load is on your heel instead of your toe. Kenapa uh, kita kena put load semua dekat heel, Aziz? Okay, so kenapa? Actually, uh, it's for a safety purpose. Alright, so bila kita buat squat, kita letak semua load. Kita akan perasan kita punya uh, lutut ni dah berketar-ketar dah. Ah, berketar-ketar dah. So pop. So you actually uh, giving opportunity for your knee to get injured. Okay, so kita tak nak. Okay, this is uh, for a beginner squat, alright. So just uh, bring one stool or chair to make it a guideline for you to know how deep you can drop, alright. So once You have your uh, leg position, leg placement, alright. Chest up, neutral spine. Orang turun je, tak sini je, alright. Ini kita panggil mini squat, okay. So untuk orang baru, -baru nak start, ataupun orang-orang yang berbadan besar, korang memang bukan korang memang lah. So to avoid injury, to go as deep as you can, korang boleh buat mini squat, alright. So when you do a mini squat, use a stool as a guideline. So bila korang turun tu touch dia ni, naik pop sikit 
but, but same, alright? So put all the loads on your heel, not on your toe. Ni aku tekankan sebab kita tak nak injury. So banyak orang kesalahan orang buat squats is they are, mo they are moving their knee forward. So bila orang turun squat, orang jadi gini. So no. Bila buat macam ni, toe kita yang dapat load semua. Tak nak. Okay? And then the common mistake bila orang buat squats, dia punya belakang tu dia arch. Okay, dia arch. Tak salah. Tapi, to get a better, uh, to maximize the purpose of squats, <coughs> tighten up your core. Alright, tighten up your core, you choose spine. So, bila korang drop ni, pop up, korang punya core bekerja, korang punya glutes bekerja, korang punya quads bekerja, korang punya back pun bekerja. Alright, but make sure jangan... Korang hinge back pun tak boleh, korang nak macam ni pun tak boleh Alright, so you are stiffing your neck And then, uh, squeezing your lower back, tak nak Kita nak uh, a comfortable position for us to do squats Alright, to maximize the purpose of squats Okay, now Aku dah explain macam mana buat squats Ini korang nak buat dengan tak nak buat Alright, so what is the uh, advantage of us doing squats <coughs> First thing first kita akan burn, burn more fat, right? So, actually squats is a movement that involving every part of your body, right? But focusing on your leg. So, kenapa squat boleh burn fat? Okay, squats sebab legs is one of our uh, major muscle. Okay, so banyak sebenarnya kalau especially uh, wanita, korang punya fat semua dekat korang punya thigh, dekat korang punya butt, dekat korang punya glutes. Okay, and then the second thing that korang boleh dapat bila korang buat squats is kalau korang ada knee injury How to strengthen your knee So, squats is one of the exercise yang korang boleh uh, practice Okay, to strengthen your knee Korang ada dislocate knee Korang ada uh, knee yang uh, Bila jalan tu sakit-sakit Bila jalan tu sakit-sakit Okay, so This is one of the exercise That uh, can strengthen your knee Right, to make your knee more strong In order for you to do other thing Right, and then uh, the third one Uh, you will get a mobility Alright, so apa itu mobility? Mobility is actually uh, Stabilization Korang punya posture badan, korang punya perjalanan So, bila korang jalan tu, korang stable Tak ada uh, macam orang-orang yang clumsy Kalau korang nak buat squat tu, bagus Sila buat, okay So, this is the three Oh, sorry One more, of course, kita akan improve Kita punya leg muscle So, once kita buat, uh, improve kita punya leg muscle Automatically untuk lelaki kita punya testosterone akan boost. Okay, so the more you do squats, the more you engaging your major muscle, the more testosterone that you will, uh, your body will produce our natural testosterone without any enhancement. Alright, so I hope you guys like this video. If you like, give it a thumb up, thumbs up, uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, share with your friends. Uh, yeah, so mission kita sehat sama-sama. Alright, I will share. Just a basic exercise. So if you are an uh, advanced bodybuilder or advanced exercise man or woman, uh, uh, video ni bukan untuk orang good. So uh, my target is more to beginners level. Alright. So orang orang baru nak start, dia tak tahu apa nak buat. Macam mana nak buat squat? Apa squat ni? So dalam video ni korang akan tahu semua benda pasal squat. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a pleasant day. And I see you guys on the next video. Peace. Love.